Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is for trading for the week of Monday, July the 25th, 2016. It also serves as an end of day report or end of week report uh, for Friday. Looking at the S&P 500, the ticker symbol SPY, you can see that the market is pretty strong, locked in a nice bullish trend here, and the market is well supported at the $200 mark, and you have several supports along the way, uh, $212.32, $207.73, and trend line support at 204.20. So this market is well supported, even if you do see a pullback. Uh, I believe that all pullbacks will be viewed as an opportunity to get long. There's nothing short here in this uh, in this in this uh, in this market at this time. Um, regardless of the reason why the market is uh, powering up the way it is is irrelevant. We like to trade the trends, and right now the trend is saying up, and it looks very explosive. Another thing to note is that we're hitting new 52-week uh, highs here in the uh, in the SPY. So the S&P is very powerful. It is in a um, it's still in a long-term bullish trend, as you can see here. Okay, long-term bullish trend, and it is hitting the new 52-week highs, closing at new 52-week highs, and shows no no end in sight right now. Therefore. Uh, this market will be looked to uh, to be picked up here on a continuation for this week. So I will refer you back to the website links are below this video uh, for the weekly pulse waves on the SPY. Looking at the Nasdaq 100 ticker QQQ, you can see this market is locked in a bull trend as well, and is pulse waving positive. The market is well supported down into the Kumo cloud at the 102.23 level and along the way here strong trend line support here at 106 uh, so let's make it 107 107 so this is looking very powerful um, you can see that the trend lines are starting to separate and point higher and this should catapult this to about 115 this week that will be the initial target for this week ahead about 115 and again this market can sustain pullbacks it's broke out of this long-term consolidated area here it's broken out so this should be now 110 should be really a strong support area and uh, again there's nothing bearish on this chart I know people are talking about market crash this and market crash that but those are fundamentals and fundamentals do not make you money and trading the markets price does all that can be known in the price is already in the price regardless of why the markets going up it's going up it's bullish you want to go long see all pullbacks as opportunities to get long taking a look now at the uh, at the Nikkei ticker symbol EWJ this ETF you know, closely resembles and follows the Nikkei and as you can see, this market is trying to start the beginning of a bull situation. Here, we failed last time. The market's trying to do something again. Uh, this is still a negative pulse wave scenario until it can break out. So the market is going to try to break out. Uh, $12.07 is the overhead resistance breakout. So if it can break out above that, then it should try to run up to about 12.50 this week. So that's that's 50 cents. We'll see what happens. Looking at the US dollar ticker UUP, you can see this uh, market is trying to break out even further as well. Still a little shady down up in here, but nevertheless, it's trying to bump its head at the bottom of the Kumo cloud. 2550 seems to be the overhead resistance right now that this market is going to try to get above with. But if it bumps its head and falls down, then it's well supported down at the $24.20 level. So this is definitely going to be interesting to watch as well. 
looking at crude oil ticker symbol OIH all right closing at twenty eight dollars and fifty eight cents overhead resistance is at thirty one oh three a breakout above there should set the stage to get to thirty five by the close of the week depending on what crude oil can do if not this isn't a negative pulse wave scenario with downside momentum but the downside momentum is kind of flat and as you can see volume did uh, pick up so this one is probably going to see sideways to lower prices um, unless something happens in the futures market and of course this tracks the future so that's what it's going to be contingent on right now but right now it's bearish as of right now taking a look at your bonds as you can see here the bonds are in a corrective mode within an overall positive pulse wave bull cycle move here it's it, it's correcting itself now as of as of Friday's close of the 138.80 all right you just came off of a high of 143.62 so it's just viewed as a correction it's trying to fill all these gaps too technically speaking you can make an argument that this gap here now has been filled and this market is looking to possibly break out in the week ahead like I said possibly again um, this is one to watch and see what happens it's possible that this market will try to run make another run at those highs but if that's the case then we should see a breakout here in this particular market it should be noted that I do have a rally alert in the bonds for this week there is a rally alert we have a 911 rally alert in the bonds so you're going to want to uh, be aware of that moving forward um, so tread lightly if you're looking to short the bonds you cannot ignore the rally alerts when you get them you have to pay homage you have to be alert and aware at all times with your rally alerts all right taking a look now switching our focus to the uh, to the gold uh, right now it should be noted that uh, we have no crash or rally alerts in the gold uh, the, the sell-off here you know kinda came to a halt so 126.35 is the close market still well supported at 119.69 we're still in a positive pulse wave within a correction here and and this down this down trend cycle right here so this market should try to get up and, and, and retest based on what we closed so going to be keeping a sharp eye on this one also weekly post waves are available on the website links below all right last but not least looking at silver uh, ticker symbol SLV downward momentum um, the way that we closed it's still locked in for continuation downside correction within the overall positive post wave scenario even though a downtrend channel has been established unfortunately uh, I don't know if it's anything nefarious or not. I just go by what I have. And we do have a crash alert for the silver, unfortunately. Uh, you will view you can view this on the website links below in the video. Crash alert is in effect for the silver. It is what it is. So tread lightly. Hopefully, um, for you for you that are still bullish I mean we are bullish look at the look at the chart here but if you're gonna look to add to your positions make sure you follow the pulse wave uh, price triggers closely because that's what's going to keep you out of trouble if you are still long this then you want to do well by looking at where the crash alert is for this week and use that price trigger as your trailing stop to lock in profit if you are long this market so in a nutshell take what you can give nothing back that's what that means so if you're up in it you want to protect your profits all right that's all I got time for right now so remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered so remember take what you can give nothing back and if you're on the sidelines not making any money or you're you're, you're, you're not doing so well in your trading or you know you could do better or you don't have time to watch the markets hit me up and uh, let's get you straight be encouraged